right. I am live. And apparently there is an ad for Hearthstone in front of my video. That's neat. That's cool, I guess. Mm. I have a bag full of just random nonsense here. A bunch of hands, some heads. Fair enough? <laughs> I love you. Love you too? Happen. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what, pizza? Do you want me to order pizza? Maybe. From where? Um, well, if we're not going anywhere. Uh, I pe pizza maniac. Okay. Can I have fun? No. You can kind. Yeah. You, well, you know what I like, but. You just want pepperoni. I mean, I like pepperoni, but if you get if you have fun, you still know what I like. Yes, I always know what you want. Okay. But do you want salad? Yeah, I'll take salad. Do you want bread thing about No. Okay. Not really. You don't really like them, right? Yeah, no, no, they're not. They're like not that great. Okay, no. couldn't remember. Yeah. But pizza. Pizza. Salad. Pizza and salad's fine. It's weird how that goes together. Okay. Okay. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. Hey, oh, there's a lot of people in chat. Go away. I thought you were talking. No, I was you talking about it. Oh, wait, so you can go back in. No, sorry, there's a lot of people oh. in chat. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, there's a lot of people in chat here. So, um, what's up, recovering toy addict? What's up, Omar? I am good now, although getting over an illness. I was sick. Now I'm not as sick, but I still have, like, a head cold thing. But that's why I, I have videos that I've wanted to record but I just haven't recorded them because I haven't uh well I haven't felt up to it and I didn't like how I sounded so uh, it's gonna happen it's gonna it's gonna happen and my stumbler 10462 I don't know if you may notice something in the corner up here stumbler but I may have a little something in the corner up here um it's gonna get its own video so I'm not gonna talk about it but I just want to know if you uh saw that up there what's up Night of Ren what's up Insane Goon Hey, Papa G, how you doing? What's up? Let's talk about stuff. Hey, L Unboxing. Reese Morris, how's it going? What's up, King Paul? Thanks for uh, being a fan in Taiwan. That's neat. You're getting, oh, Knight of Ren's getting out of Star Wars Black Series. What are you doing to replace it? I mean, you got to replace it with something. I'm, I'm not getting, I'm not getting out of Star Wars Black Series, but I feel like it's starting to overrun me right now. I've got, I just spent all morning redoing my shelves here. Um, I, uh, I put in some, uh, some blue tack down there for the problematic ones that keep falling over. What's up, Thomas Wynn? Um, and I kind of re reorganized some stuff here. Uh, I've got a shelf in the other room. It's big. I'm gonna. I measured it this morning. I'm gonna put it here, right in the middle. You can't see my hand. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle, and I think it's gonna give me some more room. And I'm gonna move two of these shelves out there, so it's gonna free up some space, and I'm gonna have more room for activities uh, and more of my collection. But uh, it's. I feel. I'm starting to feel cramped. Like I. I feel like I can't buy anything new. Excuse me. I'm feeling like I can't buy anything new because I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. That being said. Uh, I've got Mythic Legions on order. I don't even know where I'm going to display them. Um, they'll go somewhere, but I don't think like right now they, I have no place to put any of my Mythic Legions that I've ordered. Um, I've got too many Transformers. I've got too many Transformers that I can't even put on the shelves right here. I've got way too many Marvel Legends now, which is something I never thought would happen. Um, even trying to keep it down to just some, not all, like it's it's tough. I've got these 12-inch Marvel Legends down here that I just don't know what to do with. I like them. I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm not going to buy anymore. I don't even think they're making anymore. But, uh, like, I just don't know what to do with them. I have no idea where they where they should go. Uh, yeah, it's tough. It's super tough. Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, again, I'm, I, there is a little fun diorama. I just want to say that uh, Stumbler right there, my buddy, uh, hi. He uh, definitely made that for me, and I absolutely love it, but I'm not going to really talk about it and all its cool uh, 
fun things. I have posted some pics of it on my Instagram if you want to see those. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. What's up, Miguel? How you doing, man? Just in time, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Omar asked a quick question: What new Black Series figures are you expecting to be released in the next year? So, Night of Rain, I totally get that. Uh, I mean, I'm oh, sorry, Omar, I'll answer your question, but uh, I, oh, Night of Rain kind of followed up to what I was talking about. You might quit toy collecting. Um, you know, I feel like everyone goes through those phases, man. Toy, um, toy Galaxy did a fantastic sort of collecting kind of um, cycle that everyone goes through. You know, you've got Collection 1.0, Collection 2.0, Collection 3.0. And they were they were like his it's his, it's his personal cycle but I definitely like I feel like it mirrored mine a little bit there so uh, like if you feel like you don't really want to collect man like don't don't collect because it's what you do collect because it's what you want to do um, so yeah take a break like it's not a big deal uh, there there will always be toys anyways Omar I think well, I mean we haven't seen anything new uh, recently because everything's being pushed back black series wise for um the force friday and, and i don't know if we're gonna get any announcements of what it's gonna be beforehand but um i i definitely think that we're going to get a lot of episode nine stuff which i think is i mean i i have the i, I haven't i i don't know if you guys have seen it uh where is it right here there we go I don't know if you've seen my review or pictures of this, but I did get a Sith Trooper here from Episode 9. And if this is any indication of the quality of Black Series figures we're going to get from Episode 9, um, it's it's good. It's a good figure. They've, they've fixed the episode, uh, the, the First Order Stormtrooper design. He's got fantastic elbows, shoulders, butterfly joints. Uh, I definitely love this. I'm going to buy another one. Uh, when it comes out in the regular line, but I'm glad that I have that one for sure. Do I like fans? Do I like the fans' toys? Dinos? Uh, yeah. I don't have any of them, but I do. I, I went with the Giga Power because they're bigger, and so I wanted to get I wanted to get the bigger figures. That's all. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the look of the fans' toys. Dinos a lot. I think they look cartoon accurate. Which is cool, uh, and the fans. To I'm sorry, Giga Power looks a little more toy accurate. I like that a little better. What's up, David Smith? How's it going, man? Um, but anyway, Omar, to answer your question, what new Black Series figures am I expected to be released the next year? A lot of Episode Nine stuff. I'm. I mean, I feel like I've, I've made a couple of videos on t talking about the. Um, there's there's a bunch of rumors and things like that. There's things like the Yavin for Luke, which my buddy. Um, what, what's his name? My buddy uh, Stigma made me a custom uh, Luke. Hold on, let me get let me get it because it's right here. My buddy uh, Stigma made me a custom Yavin for a Luke out of the uh, young Han Solo body and the X-wing Luke head. And you know what? He I mean he painted it up and it looks it looks so good. I absolutely love this. He did such a good job on it. Um, I, I don't think the Black Series could do it that much better, although, I mean, they'll probably, they'll, they probably won't reuse a body for it, so it'll probably be unique, but, um, maybe they will. Maybe he's onto something there. I really, I, I think he did a good job, but I'll probably still buy the Black Series one when it comes out, because I'm a completionist. Uh, let's see, what, what else, um, do you need another top 10, since Hasbro seems to be secretly listening to you? <laughs> I, I, I've... You're right, I, I do, but um, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until after, because I just did one back in January, I think, uh, or February. So I'll, I'll wait a little bit, because none of the ones I put on there, I guess some of them got announced. The Obi-Wan got announced, but none of the others got announced. I really hoped that they would do more with the 20th anniversary of uh, Phantom Menace, but they, they didn't. Uh, and I think that's because they've got... Uh, a new movie coming out this year, so all the developments getting put into that. What's up, Marvel and DC three seven nine? How you doing, bud? Let's see. Um, going through, seeing. Oh yeah, David. I saw. I saw you got a bunch of stuff, dude. Um, thanks for well, thanks for taking a break. 
um, unboxing your stuff to, to be with me, but you can unbox stuff and hang out with me. That's the beauty of um, just listening to some, you know, man-child talk on the internet. And just, you, can, you can do two things at once, and I'll never know. Um, I feel like, uh, Miguel says, I feel like there's always that one toy you can't let go. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think he's talking about Ren. Um, I, I, there are definitely figures right now in my collection. Like, if I decided I'm done collecting, I don't, I don't want to buy anything new. Um, I'm going to get rid of my stuff because I, you know, I'm, whatever. And there's a lot of reasons why I might want to do that. But there are definitely figures here that I would never sell. 100%. Um, I think any of my Ninja Turtles, the, the, the NECA ones, the one-fourth scale, or even the, the six-inch ones, I don't think I'd ever sell those. I, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep those until I'm dead. Um, there's a, a, not every Black Series, but a bunch of Black Series figures I'll probably never sell. Um, yeah, man, it, it, it would be tough to let go of a lot of these pieces. Some more than others. Like if I had, if you put a gun to my head, um, and like told me I had to choose, like it would be tough. But I, I think there are definitely things, there are definitely pieces in my collection where I, I just would not be able to, to sell them. Yeah, David, it looks like you spent a, a lot there, man. But it was a good haul. It was a super good haul. Omar asked if I'm getting the new Amazon exclusive Emperor Palpatine. Absolutely. And I believe uh, someone, was it David Smith that linked me a review, uh, uh, to review? I didn't watch it. Um, a lot of people are linking me, you know, pictures of reviews and things like that. I mean, I'm jelly that people are getting it early. I've got mine on order from Amazon. And you better believe, like, as soon as I get that in the mail, I'm going to review that bad boy back like when I used to review things on time. I'm sorry I've got I've got all these figures and I just I haven't reviewed them yet. But uh that one is that one is up there. Um so uh I definitely I think I think it'll be cool and I, I can't wait for that Emperor Palpatine but I, I want to form my own opinion on it so I haven't been watching anyone else's opinion. Um I like I don't I don't like Papa G Love the guy. I mean, I, you're, I'm sure you're in the chat. I love you, but I don't watch your reviews if I haven't reviewed it myself because I don't want your opinion to influence my opinion. Like, I want my opinions to be mine uh, and, like, not just kind of what everyone else thinks as well. Uh, and I don't – I want anything – any jokes I make or any, like, points I point out, like, I want them to be because I found them, not because I'm, I saw someone else make that point and I'm just kind of regurgitating it. So it's it's kind of it kind of sucks because it means that I don't get to watch a lot of videos for a lot of people because I, I forget to go back and rewatch them once I've made videos for them. Uh, but I'm I'm like I'm I'm happy other people are getting reviews out. So it's it's cool. Uh, I just gotta let's see who um, I missed some stuff. Ren says he's 20 years old and in college. Yeah, been there. I don't need to collect toys and Tuck City and toy community pisses me off too. Yeah, I will, you know what? That's a good point, man. There are there is a lot of toxicity in the toy community. There are a lot of people that are just jerks. Um, I try not to be one, but even I mean, I'm not gonna say that sometimes I'm not. I I definitely have been a jerk before. Uh, but there's definitely there's jerks everywhere. That's the problem, is like a community is only toxic if you you, know, you really let it be. Like I feel like every community is toxic if you go and look at the toxic people in that community. Um, there might be some that are more toxic than others in certain times. Like, you know, after The Last Jedi came out and everyone was salty about the movie, it got real toxic real fast because there's a lot of dissenting opinions and a lot of people going back and forth. Um, and it was really hard to stay out of that. But there's some other, like, there are, there are other communities out there where there are toxic people on there but they're like more of a minority but it's always going to be toxic hey uh lily's in chat and she ordered me pizza <clears throat> stumbler we talked about a figure and dan we know i i agree uh we definitely need a figure and dan what's up that star wars guy anyway we definitely need a figure and dan but if they do a figure and dan i would buy i want like a hundred dollar five pack or a six pack or however many members of the modal nodes there were i want one bith for every instrument and I will have them on my shelf. I will make a cantina display. Uh, definitely need some some jizz all up in my collection. And if that sounds weird to you, it's because someone had the good idea in Star Wars lore 
to call the music that was playing in the cantina jizz. So, you know, that's what that is. Uh, let's see here. Spencer asked me if I'm going to get the Boba helmet. Absolutely not. I haven't gotten any of the lightsabers or helmets released so far. I uh, I just I, I don't I have no interest in them. I, I want figures, but the role playing stuff it's cool. And it's a lot more adult centered because like I don't know it's I feel like it's a lot more socially acceptable to come into someone like a collector's house and see like memorabilia displayed like a helmet or like a weapon like a lightsaber or a blaster than seeing a bunch of you know toys. Uh, so, uh, but it's fine. No, I don't do it. Uh, Omar says, will you try n to, uh, not getting drunk tonight on the stream? I mean, I guess I'll try. I, I have this one beer here. This beer was given to me by my friend Andy. It is from Unsung Brewing Company, Nebuloid IPA series. I'll put that logo right there for you guys. It's actually, it's a hazy double IPA and it's pretty good. Whether or not I'll get drunk or not, um, I, I was thinking about not even drinking at all during this live stream because I've been sick the last week. Uh, head cold, like fever, things like that. And I, I've been no fever for like five or six days now. But uh, still very congested with like some of the occasional, you know, gross stuff coming out of you. But uh, right, we'll see. Uh, Lance asked me how I'm doing. That's that just answered that. I'm doing okay, I guess. Yeah, Stumbler. Uh, it's, it's, it's cool when you're in a hobby like building dioramas or reviewing things like you have a community of other people and you want to support them but you also don't want to like you don't want to steal from them you know i think it's a lot it's a lot of the same way like uh when you have like stand-up comics like they have their routine they have their jokes and if maybe inadvertently you get influenced by them you know some weird stuff can happen so uh i don't i don't want to steal from anybody and i don't want to um I, I, I want my, my opinion to be mine. But yeah, I, I'm glad you get that. That's cool. Let's see here. Just a geek for life. Hey man, what's up? Just started my new YouTube channel to do action figure reviews. Can I have some advice? Yeah. Um, my advice to anybody doing any kind of action figure reviews, make, make a video that you would watch. Um, for me, what I decided to do to make it easier on myself is I created a format. Like these are the things that I look for when I look for what I think is a good or bad figure. Uh, how is the articulation? What kind of accessories? Is it worth the money that I spent? Does it make me happy owning it? Things like that. So every time I look at a figure, I, I look at it through that lens. Um, and then what I do is what I record it and then I go back in and I edit out anything that I think is kind of superfluous because as I'm talking, even though I have everything kind of bullet pointed out, uh, I tend to ramble. So my recommendation is make a video that you want, The cut out all the stuff that like you think people might not want to see, um, the ums, the uhs, the, the flubs, uh, things that aren't really on topic. Uh, and, but just do it because you, you want to do it. Do it because it's a hobby. Don't do it because you, you feel like you have to. Don't do it because you, you want to get famous or whatever. Because it's a lot of work. It took me a lot of work to get to where I am. And I'm not even, like, I don't even consider myself to be any kind of, like, famous person. It's weird that I have right now 28 concurrent viewers uh, but like I just started making videos because I had a bunch of time on my hands and I collected a bunch of toys and I um, at the time I felt like there was something missing because Glenn Webb just died and I don't know um, so yeah do, just make hey what's up Josh is in the in the thing what's up man how you doing I'm, I'm gonna as soon as I'm done with this I'm probably gonna hop into your stream so you know we'll keep the good times rolling uh Let's see here. That, but anyway, that's my that's my advice, dude. Make videos that you would watch, uh, and and have fun doing it. 
Lance says he completely agrees with The Last Jedi being the worst Star Wars movie ever. So, I don't know who you're agreeing with. You can agree with other people. I, don't, I definitely don't think that. If I had to put a tag on the worst Star Wars movie ever, it'd probably be Attack of the Clones. But even then, I still like it. So, um, like, whatever. It's fine. You're, you're allowed to... Uh, you're allowed to have your own opinion on it. That's cool. Uh, David Smith has a fat tire. That's all good. That's good. That's a good helmet. Yeah, Spencer, that's a good point. You like the helmets and weapons for going to conventions and stuff. That's awesome. Bob Armstrong, just uh, since there weren't a lot of news stuff from uh, San Diego Comic Con, any idea of what might be coming out? Yeah, I did a whole video on uh, upcoming, uh, I guess, theories and rumors because there wasn't a lot of video, so or there wasn't a lot of actual news. So I know there are there are pretty good ideas of what's coming out. I think I mean there's there's a bunch of like placeholder names, so we don't know exactly who's who. But pretty much everything coming out is going to be for Episode 9, The Mandalorian Show, which is a show I'm 100% looking forward to watching. I, I'm getting the Disney Plus service, paying for the full year. Can't wait for that. Uh, and then uh, and it's going to be figures from the, the, the new uh, Jedi game coming out. Let's see here. Going through Night of Ren, one of uh, one Star Wars line will continue to collect to three point seven five. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's good. Yeah, I think. Um, I think the three point. If you if you collect the three point seven five inch Star Wars series, now is as good a time as any to continue that because the the vintage collection is is looking good. Papa G, I agree, man. Pa making videos is very therapeutic. Awesome, Josh. I'm glad you agree with my advice. It's nice seeing another person that kind of does what I do uh, agree with me. That makes me feel like I, I have an idea of what I'm doing. Because the uh, the truth is, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I haven't. I, I literally have. I stumbled my way to where I am right now. Um, but do it because you want to, not because you feel like it's cool. It's a cool thing to do. Anyway, Tim L says Unicron. Yeah, Unicron. Um, I honestly, sadly, it looks like I don't. I would be very surprised if it ends up being funded. Uh, it, I don't, has it even broken? Hold on, let me let me look at this up. Let me look at this up. Wow. Uh, let me look this up here. Uh, Hasbro Pulse. Has it even broken two thousand backers? I think it did. Twenty one ninety four. Uh, it's got. I'm mean, still got thirty days to go. Well, Twenty eight days to go. But it is only a fraction, a fourth of the way. Uh, it's only a, four, a little over a fourth of the way to being funded. So I just, I don't think it's going to get funded, but I genuinely hope it does. Because seeing it in person, it, it is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I know a lot of people complain about the, the back calves and the... Um, the back flap and stuff but guys like i've seen it in person this thing is this thing is nuts and yeah 575 dollars is worth a lot but i mean it's a lot of money but uh i i genuinely think because of what it is it's kind of worth it let's see do you think we'll get a black series episode three obi-wan we Already got a Black Series Episode 3 Obi-Wan, actually. It was the part of Phase 1. I think, I think, I'm like very positive we will get an archive update to that Episode 3 Obi-Wan because the uh, face painting on it is one of the worst. It's one of the worst. Right now, it did not age well, even a little bit. So, for sure, we'll, I'm, I, would, I would be very surprised if we never saw that in the archive release. Uh, because it, it's, I feel like that's a figure a lot of people will want. And I'm knocking things over here. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I made, I made Stumbler think of, uh, 
cantina diorama uh, that can attach to my current diorama. Dude, um, I... That's a cool idea, but I don't know where I'd put that because I don't have any way to attach them. Uh, but you know what? Like, if you want to do that, I'm not going to stop you. You know you. know you. Let's see. Hey, Mike, did you order the Ghostbuster Transformer? Thought about getting the mess coat. Oh, you know, I, I did order it when they announced it, but I, I, what happened was my card, when it, when it got released from Hasbro Pulse, my card that I'd ordered it on uh, was no longer good because it had expired and uh, I didn't update the payment. So they canceled it. And then when I tried to reorder it, they were like, and I was like, all right. Cause I ordered it at the $40 price point that, that it was when it first got announced. And then they were like, well, it's $50 now. And I'm like, yeah, but like, that's not my fault. Like I ordered it back in February. And it, the weird thing is it charged my card back in February, but apparently they only did that to, to make sure I had the money then, but then they refunded me the money immediately, and then they were gonna charge my card again when it came out. Hasbro Pulse is, they have a lot of issues. They have a lot of problems with the way they take payments and make shipments, and those are things they really need to figure out. Um, but no, I guess long story short is I don't have the Ghostbuster Transformer. Recovering to act, when, it, when is the Disney Channel launching? I think it's uh, I think it's beginning of November and it's gonna be like six bucks a month or seven bucks a month, but if you pay for it by the year, it's gonna be seventy bucks for the whole year, which is a lot cheaper than you know because it's twelve months. So you, you basically save two months worth of pay by ordering for the year, and there's no way like it's gonna have all the Disney movies, all the Marvel movies, all the Star Wars, like all the TV shows, all the animated stuff. Like there's no way that I won't watch everything that's on it. Like, I'm looking forward to rewatching Clone Wars again. I haven't seen Resistance. I'm going to rewatch Star Wars Rebels, uh, at the very least there. And then there's probably going to be all the like, old Saturday morning Disney cartoon stuff on there. Um, there's Mandalorian. There's all the new Marvel stuff they announced. Like, it's going to be worth it for me. Um, so definitely, for sure, recommend that. Oh, okay. Nana Ren said November 12th. Yeah, that, that sounds right. David says, just get the General Kenobi Walgreens figure and swap the heads with your Episode 3 Kenobi. I mean, yeah, I can do that. Uh, but I also broke the lightsaber for my Episode 3 Obi-Wan Kenobi, so I'm hoping to get the, an archive release to um, to replace the lightsaber. Because, honestly, I've, I've looked at lightsaber lightsabers online for like fan-made stuff, and it's almost the same price as just buying a whole new toy. But yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with just a geek for life is that I'm, I'm kind of a purist there. So um, I only want, um... oh, I'll show that. Nana Rin said, honestly, you'd be dumb not to do the $70 a year payment. Uh, I'm, I'm going to allow that. I mean, it's not offensive, but yeah. <clears throat> just a geek for life says, Mike, your X-Men display there is looking awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's down in the corner. I, I, I just added Jubilee to it. Found her on clearance at Target for 13 bucks. I'm missing a couple. I don't have the Storm yet, obviously. I don't have Nightcrawler or Mr. Sinister. Um, I didn't get that Magneto 3-pack. So I'm, I'm missing a couple figures that I could have in there. But... Uh, it's cool. I like I like it so far. I, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with what it is right there. What's up, Snoke? Spite on tap. How you doing, man? Definitely, season seven of the Clone Wars is going to be rad. Uh, definitely. Yeah, Dave. Exactly. They ship everything in their own, in their own box. I got I ordered the whole wave of Black Series. The last Black Series. Uh, and I got five box. Well, cause I, I didn't get the whole wave. That's the whole thing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I got five boxes to open. It was, I did that in the last live stream. It was stupid, but yeah, definitely. That's uh that's an, that's an issue Hasbro has. Steven, uh, asked, Hey, uh, love your content. What shelves do you have behind you? The shelves I have behind me are target shelves. They're just the, I think right now they rebranded them as the studio 62, Whatever, but if you go to Target, it's like their $100 shelf. They're easy to build. They look good. Uh, definitely. Uh, 
Omar asks if I got the um, the Archive Yoda yet. I haven't seen any of the Wave 2 Archive figures yet. I didn't order them online because, you know, like, it's kind of fun finding some things in store, you know? Uh, but I was kind of hoping to, to find them in store. I'm going to buy Anakin and Yoda for sure. Definitely going to buy the, um, uh, the Biker Scout when I see it. Uh, to have an extra Biker Scout on my collection. I don't think I'm going to buy Darth Maul. I still have the original. And looking at online pictures side by side, it actually looks like the archive release is a little bit worse. Like his face tattoos aren't right. Um, so since I had the original, um, I'll just stick, stick with that. But uh, definitely the, uh, the Yoda looks a lot better. The uh, Anakin looks a lot better, and for sure the Biker Scout is going to be in my collection. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Just a Geek for Life said that his uh, lightsaber on his Obi... Excuse me, on his Obi-Wan broke seven times. Yeah, man. I don't know what it is about the way that those are made. That my original Anakin lightsaber broke. Uh, I, I had to replace it. Um, the lightsaber blade of my Anakin is not the lightsaber blade. Uh, that it came with. Uh, the one that it came with was from a, a farm boy tattooing Luke that I bought, replaced the lightsaber <laughs> blade with it and returned. Um, so I had a, a working lightsaber again. But yeah, it's it's kind of dumb. Uh, Spencer asked if I'm going to get Jedi The Fallen Order. Yeah, uh, the problem right now is I only have a Switch. I guess I have a, a PC or I have a computer I could probably... Um, I have a computer I could play it on. But uh, I'll, 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 by that by the point it comes out, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll probably play it on my computer. But yeah, I'll definitely get it. It looks good. Steven can't wait for Jean Grey. The problem with Jean Grey is they have her in that three pack. Now I have Cyclops and I have the Wolverine. I don't care about Wolverine's bone claws. I couldn't care any less about that. And I have the Cyclops, but the Cyclops that comes in that three pack is better. I like the bomber jacket look better than the non-bomber jacket look. Uh, and I like the alternate heads. I like the glasses head. And then, of course, there's the Jean Grey. So, yeah, um, I definitely, it's a good three-pack. I have a problem just dropping $60 on a three-pack, though, but we'll see. David Smith says he doesn't find toy hunting fun at all around where he lives. Everything's always demolished. And you can only find Rogue One in Episode 7 figures. Yeah, that's an issue in some places. It can be an issue in mine, but it's always... I don't know, man. There have been... It's like that um, that dopamine hit. Like, when I turn that corner at a Target and I see that thing I've been looking for, like, it's just... It's just a, such a good feeling that while it's it's nice buying things online and knowing that you'll get them at some point it's just a really cool feeling going into a store and seeing it right there to buy uh kind of you know it takes me back to my childhood a little bit there thomas sass with the release date for star wars clone war uh, uh season seven of clone wars i i honestly haven't haven't seen anything about it uh just that they're doing it i haven't i don't think they've announced a date for it yet but i will say that when they do it it's 100 percent going to be on the disney plus service so you'll have to have that and then uh my wife lily has a uh, has the link there for the shelves if anyone's curious about the shelves that i have behind me All right, so you know what? Um, I think it's a good time here to talk about other stuff. I've got a box sent to me from Papa Gord. Uh, I, know, I, I know it's in here, but um, I was going to make... He, he said I didn't have to make a video, but I always feel like when Papa Gord sends me something... Oh, my, my knife's over here. When Papa Gord sends me something, I feel like I have to show it off because like, that's like a thing, you know? Papa Gord, he... He sends me stuff, and it's it's like a staple on my channel. Um, I think last year he basically single handed single handedly 
supplied me of all of the uh, Star Wars Black Series figures that I, I needed, at least for like a good month. So let's see here. In this box, he's got me uh, it's a little paper for Galactic Connections. Oh, it's like a oh, it's like a fun little exclusive. It's like a trading card thing. So yeah, that's, that's cool. I like the little sand uh, magma trooper is what it is. Cool. Thanks, Papa Gordon. What else is in here? Oh shit, Papa Gordon, you shouldn't have. Like, you legitimately shouldn't have. Okay. So, first... Shit. Okay. First, Pop, Papa sent... Papa Gord sent me this... Uh, this is MMC's, like, way back in the day. Mastermind Creations. It's their Nightformer Screecher. It's uh, from their Hearts of Steel line. Uh, where uh, Starscream... Well, all, all of them are, like, um, kind of steampunkish. Like, Optimus Prime was a train. So it was... Uh, actually, most of the Autobots were trains. Um, what's his face? Oh, this looks so good. Uh, Shockwave was the super rad... Um, Shockwave was a super rad uh, uh, steamboat. And then... Oh, man. This is nice. Pop this in here so I can get his wings on. There we go. And then in this one. I feel like the first one was so easy to do. Oh. What is going on with that one? Alright, hold on. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Alright. Goes on here. Clips right in. First one did it no problem. Ooh, the AC came on. Good. Let's get a little roasty in here. I'm gonna get this on. I'm I'm a I'm a little I'm a little buzzed. I'll be honest with you guys. Oh, I see. I see. I see. There it goes. There we go. There we are. It was tabbed to go in a certain way. All right. There we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this thing. I love the little bat wings. Ah, I love this. This looks so good. Thank you so much, Papa Gordon. Let's see what we got here. He needed room for Skyfire. Oh, I see. So he got rid of it. Oh. I, you know, I have my Skyfire... Oh, I have my Skyfire over here because I was going to show it off in the stream. Let's see here. Thoughts on the Mythic Legion's current pre-order list? You know what, Josh? That's a great question. Uh, I'm going to get to the, ne the next unboxing here in just a bit. Um, but... Let me let me tell you about about the the latest. Oh come on! Let me tell you about the latest uh, the latest Mythic Legions thing. So I sent Lily, my wife, all uh, like links to a bunch of them because I was super excited about them, and she toy shames me. My wife toy shamed my joy of toys because she thinks it's stupid that I think the horses are so cool. She thinks that it's dumb. <clears throat> she thinks that it's dumb that, uh, that I like the horse so much. But I think, I think they look awesome. I like the, I like the demons. 
I like the fire horse. I like the regular horse. Um, I like... I don't care about the standard kind of normal soldier guy. I like Magnus, the just the dude with the gold armor kind of thing. Um, I like the little demon, the little demon, the little wing demon. Like, I think they look rad. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get any of them. Uh, I might get, I might get just the regular demon, the Erethus guy or whatever. Uh, but he looks, they look rad. Uh, just a geek for life asks, he says he already, he's already broke with legends and black series, but where do you start collecting with transformers? The siege line. Um, you should be able to find all of them very easily, but hands down the transformers siege line has been the absolute best line in years. So 100%, if you're looking for some, um, if you're looking for some new transformers or where to start collecting transformers, just go to your store. What's on the shelf is good. Optimus Prime, good. Megatron, good. Hound, good. Red Alert, good. Uh, uh, Sideswipe, good. I, I mean, they're, they're all good. Uh, it's a fantastic place to start. Shockwave, good. Ultra Magnus, good. Uh, just to, just just start with the Siege line and enjoy because they're they're good. They're good figures. Let's see here. Uh, what else have I missed? Yes, yes. Lily almost never toy shames me. She toy shamed me about this. She thinks it's a Barbie horse. All right, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I want to get, I want to get the whole wave. I think if I had to get one, it would be the Erethus guy. Let's see what we got here. This is, this is also from Papa, Papa G. Papa G sent me just an absolute ton of stuff, so I'm just gonna continue opening things and looking at the stream. But yeah, man, the the Mythic Legions. If you guys are looking to get into a cool line that's pretty pricey. But the, the, the cool thing about Mythic Legions is the uh, if you ever decide to sell, the prices for these only go up. Like, unless you break them or something, it, it only gets better. Uh, so Mythic Legions is a good part, and they have a new um, they have a new line coming out, so you can get it at the ground floor. But, uh, okay, this is a Kingdom Hearts 3. What is it, like a wall scroll? It's like a, it's like a fabric. Papa G, what is, what is, what even is this? Papa G. It is like a it's like a table it's like a like a tablecloth. Uh oh <laughs> this is one of those little knockoff uh, popsicle guys. I know I'm gonna give that one to um I'm gonna give that one to Zach because uh I think he needs one for sure. This one is a Mortal Kombat eleven. Ooh, the material is really nice. It says it's a face mask. Like, like, am I supposed to put this on? Like, like, does it go like this? I can't, I can't see myself. Hold on. Should I just do the, the, should I just do the rest of the stream like this then? I feel like this is what, like, one of my unboxing videos. Oh, you gave me two of these. Awesome. Let's see here. We got, oh, he loves to give me these uh, Crown Royal um, bags. I love them too. I collect them because I love drinking Crown Royal. It gave me a Soul Calibur fig pin here. That's um, Ivy. I, I haven't played Soul Calibur in a while, but I used to play it a lot. I feel like, hold on, I can't do this. It's getting hot. I, it's getting too hot. My beard's all messed up now. 
I feel like this is like uh, I feel like this is how loot crate used to be before it stops before it started sucking. Is a, a nitro. It's a it's an air freshener for um, Crash Bandicoot. There's another one in here, and that's everything for in here. He gave me a collectible micro blocks figurine of Spyro. That one's probably for Lily because he knows that she likes Lego type stuff. So I'm gonna leave that one right there. Ah! And then last, and definitely not least, he gave me an unmasked Kylo Ren. Uh, this was uh, the convention exclusive version because I, I never buy the convention exclusives. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So this one comes with a really cool first order banner. And then it comes with a kind of Darth Vader helmet that's all messed up. And then a, a regular version of his head and then an unmasked head right here. Other than that, it's basically the exact same figure as the unmasked one that came out in 2016. But uh, you know what? Thank you so much, Papa Gord. I love everything in this so much. This is so good. A oh, wall flag. Thank you, Papa G. It's a wall flag. Let's see. Omar asked if I toy hunt in collectible stores. Sure, absolutely. All right, here. Does anyone know the best place for uh, Dragon Ball figures? Uh, prob probably online, honestly. Uh, Stumbler, oh, I, I haven't given her any of that stuff yet because I was waiting for the... Uh, I'm doing an unboxing video of your stuff. So um, that she, she doesn't know about the New York City shirt there. All right. So some other things I've been collecting. I found one of these guys in stores recently. This is the uh, reflector. Actually, I didn't find it. Zach found it and bought it for me. Um, I only have one of them. I don't have three of them. And it kind of sucks that you need three, but you also like you need to buy three because that's how you build the camera. I got uh, I got Springer. He's good. I don't think he's as good as the the Thrilling 30 version, but he's more G1 accurate instead of IDW. So if you like the G1-ness of him, he's good. I feel like his leg transformation makes his leg a little loose. But uh, other than that, he's he's good. The, the different forms he has, because he is a triple changer, uh, are good for sure. Um, I found Thundercracker, and if, uh, his head's a little different here because I actually did swap this head with the Starscream head because for some reason they gave him more of like a smirk, and that smirk just seemed to me more um, more of a Starscreamy thing. And then I did. You guys haven't seen bots and shots this last month. Um, I won this Jetfire right here. I have them all jet fired up because I didn't want, I didn't know what to do with any, all of his extras. Like all of his stuff comes off. So if you just want to be Skyfire, he can be. Uh, but he is easily the best official Transformer I think I've ever owned. He is a fantastic Transformer. Um, so I have him. And what's cooler than that, hold on. And again, if you haven't seen the latest episode of Bots and Shots, and you like Transformers, I highly recommend you watching that. Because what I got was... Ah, I almost fell over. This is the box that I won. And if you look up here, it's signed right here. Because the guy, Greg Berger, who voiced Grimlock and Skyfire in the cartoon, was at the concert where I won this. And I literally won it. And then I was like, uh, Greg Berger, could you sign this for me? And he... He was super nice. Uh, I want you know it's it's cool going to convention and meeting a person that you like, but this night 
was different from that because it wasn't just like, oh, I met Greg Berger and, um, you know, like the owner of Ripped Apparel and like a lot of this stuff. Like, it's not just like I met them. I hung out with them. Like, we got drinks. We had long conversations about pretty much anything. Uh, it's it's It was a crazy ass night and one that I know, I don't know if will ever happen again like that. Uh, it was like hanging out, just chatting with Vince DiCola like it was nothing. Uh, was crazy. So that was a lot of fun. I got a lot of cool stuff from it. Uh, I'm friends on Facebook with people like that. Um, Tyler, who's writing the new IDW uh, Constructicons um, comic. There we go. Wow. Missed, missed the word comic, Mike. Uh, but he's writing that. And now like he just wants to hang out. He's like, hey, when you're doing your next boxing shots, let me know so we can go uh, hang out together. So it was just crazy. Papa Gord had to split. Sorry, I missed you. And I will continue to miss you. Omar, I think that Hasbro should release some Knights of the Old Republic stuff. I mean, they already got... They already have one, and I know he only got there because he was a fan's choice, Darth Revan, but uh, he was definitely, he was good. So I, I hope they do more as well. <clears throat> it's true. Uh, Lily says that uh, when when I don't like to, when I don't like input about my processes and stuff like that, I, I don't talk to her about a lot of this stuff. So she doesn't know all about a lot, of, a lot of those things. Oh, hey, pin drop. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the money there. How do I keep my black series standing up? Um, painstakingly posing them so they don't move. But also, where did I put it? Oh, here we go. Ah, almost fell. There we go. This right here is blue tack. I picked up this little trick from Ham and Jam, and, and I just, Papa Gord just let us know. He died about a month ago, and he was a regular commenter. He was, was a regular on the stream. Uh, I genuinely liked talking to Ham and Jam, and I was sad at his passing. But uh, blue tack here is how he let, oh, you can see my butt. I'm so sorry. I just, I just noticed that. Uh, that's un that's unfortunate that now everyone can see my butt on stream. <clears throat> anyway, sorry, I'm just like watching myself play back of me bending over and, and showing everyone what my butt looks like. Uh, anyways. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Jerome, um, he was a cool guy. I loved chatting with him, but he told me to pick up some of this stuff and it works. i not everyone on there has this, but a lot of them have this under their feet. Uh, and it does, it does keep them standing up pretty well. Well, you know, so David, that's that's the thing about uh, the Veritech fighter version. Like, I get a lot of the early Transformers fans loved Jetfire because that's they had the toy of him. I never had the toy growing up. I only knew Jetfire from the cartoon where he was called Skyfire and looked a lot different because they couldn't make they couldn't put him in the in the cartoon because they couldn't put a Veritech in the cartoon because it was a Robotech. Like, well, it was a Macross. You know, you know that whole thing. <sighs> Blue Tech? I bought this. Uh, what's up, Stigma, by the way? Um, I bought this on Amazon for like four bucks. I know, I know. Stum Stumblers, like, I got that moon going out. I'm sorry about that, everybody. <sighs> Uh, Omar asked, do I think George Lucas well directed the prequels? Do you wish he had ever sold Lucasfilm to Disney? I think George Lucas is a visionary. I think he is a fantastic writer. I think he's a god-awful director. 
He George Lucas can't direct himself out of a bag. Um, the only reason the only reason A New Hope is a good movie is because they saved it in the editing. And there's a really good documentary you can watch on that uh, called Saved in the Edit. Um, the prequels are good stories, but they are they are not well made movies in the sense of the directing aspect. You've got some Oscar winning actors in there. You've got Liam Neeson. You've got Ewan McGregor, Natalie Portman. These are not no name actors. They weren't even then. They are skilled actors. Even you know what? Even in the other movies that Hayden Christensen has been in, like they are skilled actors. George Lucas is not a good director and it shows at how he treated the, the the actors that he had in his movie so i don't care who owns star wars as long as they keep making movies um and stuff if anyone treats if anyone looks at star wars and thinks oh disney's just out to make a quick buck guess what so is george lucas george lucas retained the merchandising rights because he knew that that's what Star Wars was about. So Disney isn't any different from George Lucas in terms of that. George Lucas did everything he could to monetize and merchandise Star Wars. Disney took it up a degree for sure, but uh, he, it's not any different. That's all. All right, let's see here. What do I missed here? Eh. Yeah, but they rhyme. Sure, that's like his. That's like his favorite catchphrase saying right there. It's like poetry. It rhymes. I'm sure I got a lot of um, down. I don't know, not down votes, down thumbs down or whatever for my opinion on um, on George Lucas. Again, I don't think he's. I do think he's terrible at directing. He he just is like he like. I know it's it's uh, popular to think oh George Lucas created Star Wars so. Uh, and and a new hope is a good movie so obviously george lucas is a good director but he's not he's just he's not he's not a good director um he's just a good writer and story thinker upper -er. all right how long have i been going here pin dropped ass favorite of the war for cybertron figures that's hands down hands down Sky, uh, sky, or jet fire here. Hold on, let me, let me not show you my butt here. So, in this hand is a two hundred and twenty dollar, probably more than that, because you have to buy them after market now. Um, masterpiece jet fire figure or sky fire figure. This is Fans Toys Phoenix. And I got him because I they hadn't really ever made a figure that looked like this. Uh, and this hand is the War for Cybertron Siege uh, Jetfire. And while not as big, that's about right, right there. Honestly, almost every bit is good. This has a lot more die cast in it, but this has a lot more accessories. Uh, two different looks you can give them. And a slightly more simplified transformation of this one. They transform, honestly, almost identically. Not, not the exact same, but like close enough to where if this were Hasbro, or if this were Hasbro and this weren't, I would say Hasbro should sue them because there's a lot of copying there. But one of the cool things of third-party Transformers like this is Hasbro can 100% copy any of this stuff because they're already, uh, like, it's already copyright fraud here for Fans Toys doing this in the first place. So I think if if Hasbro wants to take any designs from third party and steal it for their own, like, they 100% should. Because, like, why not? It's their property. They, they can if they want to. Oh, I'm 
just knocking everything over here. But this right here is hands down. That when I, earlier when I was talking about those figures that I would never sell, this is this is one of them. I absolutely love this toy right here. Put that right there. Thank you, Omar, for respecting my opinion. Um, everyone does have different perspectives and points of view. Um, but again, like I still like Star Wars, and I, I still am glad George Lucas, uh, you know, created Star Wars, and I'm glad that it's a thing. Uh, but I, I just I'm not one of those people that thinks that you know Star Wars is ruined now. I mean, I was one of those people that thought Star Wars is ruined back ruined back when the prequels were a thing. It was so that's that's another thing. Like it's cool to hate on the sequels now, and it's no longer cool to hate on the prequels. So you're seeing a lot of people now appreciating the prequels because they grew up with the prequels. They were, you know, they were what they grew up with. So now it's their Star Wars, uh, where the original trilogy is actually my Star Wars because I was born in 82. You know, when the prequels came out, I was a junior in high school. So it's not my Star Wars. I actually thought that the prequels were pretty bad when they came out. And I was jumping all over the hate on them because it was the cool thing to do. It was popular to hate on the prequels. Uh, now, I'm seeing the same thing where all the people that grew up with the prequels and the original trilogy people are hating on the sequel trilogy. But you know what? I've talked, and it sounds weird, but due to my job, I, can't, I can do this because uh, I, I interact with a lot of kids. Uh, and every, when, I, when I ask kids, like, oh, what's your favorite movie? You know, whatever. Um, they, Star Wars, Last Jedi, uh, Force Awakens, because kids love Star Wars, and that's this is their Star Wars now. This is the Star Wars that they grew up with, and when they grow up, and whatever Star Wars happens when they're an adult, they're like, well, I like Episode 7 and 8, and this new stuff is garbage. Like, it's just, it, the next thing becomes the cool thing to hate on, uh, and I can't wait until the sequels are no longer the cool thing to hate on, um, because it's just, it's getting old a little bit. Lucas did, Lucas did get nuts towards the end, sure. How, how do I personally feel on the way Empire Strikes Back displayed Yoda on screen? The character itself? I mean, Empire Strikes Back introduced Yoda, so I, I loved it. Um, Irving Kirshner, uh, who directed Empire Strikes Back, uh, Frank Oz, who performed the both physical and um, voice for it. Uh, I, love, I love Yoda. Uh, Yoda is one of my favorite characters. I think that I think that he was great in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I think that he was a little weird in the prequels, and then I think he was great in the Last Jedi. In fact, I think Yoda was my favorite part of the Last Jedi. That little Yoda sequence there, um, I thought was brilliant and made me smile the whole time that scene was on. Um, so yeah, I like that they had a puppet for that Yoda. And I like that they had Frank Oz back for that Yoda. Looking at the mess. I, I spent all morning cleaning this room. And now I have a mess on the ground. And well, this big box doesn't count. That big box is going to be the next video that I do. Let's see here. We're at about an hour. And I'm feeling like I'm pretty done here. Excuse me. I feel like uh, it's time to go. I think there might be some food somewhere because pizza was ordered. Tim L says he thinks the CGI hurt the prequel reception. I think so. I, 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 you know what though? I remember as like when the prequels came out, CGI was cool. Uh, like, no, like, oh man, the battle droids are all CGI. All the aliens are going to be CGI. They look so good. And they did at the time. But it's the same way... Man, it's the same way like if you go back and play a PlayStation 1 game. Like, I remember popping in, like, you know, Final Fantasy 7 VII or 8. 
and just being wowed at the amazing graphics that I was looking at. Same thing with like, you know, Super Nintendo and 64. I was like, wow, these graphics look so good. And at the time they did, but you know, when they get better and you go back and look at them, they're not they're not that good. So it's it's always tough when you go back and look at older stuff and sometimes it doesn't age well. And I feel like physical physical um things tend to, to age better than CGI or a mixture. So like Jurassic Park holds up. Jurassic Park was a mixture of CGI uh, and rudimentary 90s CGI uh, and, you know, puppets and, and miniatures and things like that. So it it, uh, it holds up over time. Whereas when they relied so on CGI that everything looks flat or like kind of like cartoonish, uh, it, can, it can definitely have some issues there. Yes, Stumbler, that is a big ass box. Have a good night, Chi. All right, I think I'm actually, I think I'm actually done streaming for the night as well. Uh, I'm hungry and I have to clean up this mess. And uh, there's a lot, I don't know, there's a lot of reasons. But I just, I want to stream at least once a month. Uh, if you guys want, check out Papa Gord. He streams a lot. Josh Pence was in my uh, was in my stream. That guy streams all the time, and he's a cool guy. So go go check out those. I think Josh Pence is actually streaming in a little bit. Uh, if you guys want to go go hang out with him, but thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Thanks again, Papa Gord, for sending me this stuff in this box. I absolutely love it. Um, thanks for sorry sorry about showing off my butt earlier. That was unintentional, but you know sometimes butt happens. Thanks Pin Drop for hanging out uh, on my stream. Um, thanks to everyone, Randy, uh, who can't get into the mainline stuff. I get it absolutely. Uh, but thanks for everyone that that commented and, and interacted with me. Thanks for everyone for hanging out with me. If you like to uh, to watch even without talking, like. That's cool. I respect it. So everyone have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Like, share, subscribe. Whatever. You do you. And I'll see you later. Bye.